Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 7th, 2019. So my goodness, what a day we had yesterday with a huge gap down, and then traders and the market itself just decided to shrug it all off like it didn't even happen and rally all the way back up a pretty amazing day yesterday really really strong a bullish action in a lot of different charts a lot of different trades the question is can we trust it and, I, and i'm not really sure um you know, when, when we enter an environment like this, when we enter uh, a news-driven cycle that that is all based on um, outside influences that we have absolutely no control over, it makes it very, very difficult to trade. We have... Um, um, one of the things that it's very, very important to me is holding on to an edge. I want to have some kind of an edge someplace, somehow in the market, meaning that I have, I, I want to have some stability. I want to have a trend. I want to have, um, a great price pattern. Well, then uh, that seems to all been kind of tossed out. And, um, even after that big rally back up now, this morning, we're looking at a substantial gap down as the market reacts, continues to react to this news. So anyone who kind of chased into this um, during the night or not during the night or during the day yesterday thinking, oh, it's all over, I, I think they're wrong. Um, I, I think um, we're going to see considerable volatility. It's going to make it very, very difficult for particularly swing traders to hold on to any kind of edge at all. And this morning, as, as I look at the markets right now, we're looking at a gap down of about 160 points. So here again, we have a tremendous turmoil in the market. We have a lot of unknowns in the market and the market truly hates unknowns. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen and and I don't, um, I don't like the possibility that we could wake up every day to a substantial gap, even overnight reversals, um, based on these news items and the spin that's happening um, in the market. So what we do know for sure is, according to reports, is that um, we will have the Asian delegation um, resuming talks on trade. However, we have also learned uh, during the night that they have walked back most of their concessions that they had made prior to um, this tariff threat. We also know that the president has entered this uh uh, this tariff to take effect at 1201 Friday. So now their uh, negotiations are under tremendous pressure. Um, whether they can actually pull off a deal, boy, I don't know. It's certainly possible. But we do know that there is likely to be lots of tossing about, lots of um, news reports, um, and um, tremendous pressure uh, um, on the market in a lot of different places. Now, let's couple to that this massive week of earnings that we have and all the things that can happen around that. So we toss all that stuff in and then just for added measure, add in the tensions that are growing between the U.S. and Iran. Um a new carrier, a carrier group being moved into the into the Gulf, and um, just tensions that are rising over there. Boy, we have a mix of of unknowns here that could really create quite a little bit of volatility, making it very very difficult for the swing trader to hold on to any edge. I would say the day trader probably has the upper hand right now because of the volatility that we're likely to see in those uh, those big moves intraday and big swings where the um, swing trader um, trying to hold something overnight 
um, could be, um, well, could be a little bit tough to do, very challenging um, in this environment. So kind of keep that in mind as you plan your risk forward. Now, having gotten through all of that, let's take a look and just see what the charts are telling us and set aside all of this other malarkey and just look at the price action of the chart. Well, first off, let's take a look. We did do exactly what I said yesterday would be important. If we hold on to this price support, we could be in really good shape. And that actually occurred. We held that price support. Buyers stepped in here, pushing us all the way back up. Now, we pushed right back up through this price um, resistance so we had that price resistance just a you know almost a 500 point rally in the dow yesterday um, as we kind of ignored what was going on um, in the trade negotiation so tremendous rally so we're back up above this tr um, price resistance but now this morning we're gapping back down below it and it's going to be um, kind of interesting to see how the market reacts to that today. If we can hold in this area, we may be... I don't know if we can continue to shrug this stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. I bumped my microphone. I don't know if we can continue to shrug this stuff off. I don't know if we can continue what we can do here or if... Um, the bears are actually going to uh, build any support in here. What I would tell you is failing back down below this could be uh, a little bit of a problem for us today. And it won't become a major problem unless we drop below this level. So if we can hold in here, we should be okay at least for the time being. But just remember, we're going to be subject to big the morning gaps, possibly even complete overnight reversals as this drama plays out. So um, plan your risk carefully on um, how you want to deal with that. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Um, pretty, pretty amazing rally back. I mean, that's all you can say. And I mentioned yesterday that if we can hold, if we can hold trend and if we can hold this level of support right in here we're going to be in good shape that's exactly what occurred held on to that and now this morning we are gapping down now we're still holding that support on this morning gap down I think that's a good sign as long as we can hang in there um, we have opportunity to rally what we don't want to see after this gap down is follow through selling that breaks that support because then we're likely coming down into this area so watch that close if we happen to break it let's take a look at the cues now cues also did exactly what we I had talked about yesterday that if we hold on to this support level we're going to be in good shape and that's exactly what happened we bounced down into there and immediately saw buyers bringing this right back up but once again this morning we are now getting a substantial gap down here so as long as we hold above this level of support i think we're in pretty good shape but if we were to happen to open in here and drift down into this area we could have some pain and suffering um, um, yet to come because i my guess is there's going to be a significant number of stop losses down underneath those levels and that's where those um, extra selling that extra selling could come in so watch that close and then IWM IWM um, that really hasn't been participating um, for days and days and days uh, as the market rallied has now decided to get inspired and uh, two uh, two nice days big white candles uh, standing up here but now once again we are getting a little bit of a gap down this morning however that gap down is pulling back right into price support of these highs so as long as we hold above that area, as a matter of fact, I would say as long as we hold above this area and trend, I think we're in good shape here on IWM starting to show signs of life. So we'll have to kind of keep a close eye on that as this um, drama plays itself out um, in D.C. Let's take a look at uh, the VIX. Now, the VIX had quite a response yesterday. 
And um, we spiked up really, really quickly. And remember, I, I mentioned that what's going to be important is this holds as resistance. And that's exactly what happened yesterday. We spiked up and then turned around and came right back as we rallied. But notice that we didn't give up all of the fear. That fear held up in here um, substantially. You would think after rallying all the way back up that that fear would have gone away, and that's not the case. So gap up this morning could definitely push us above this area. And I think the critical place that we're going to have to watch is if we happen to hold this area as support. Anywhere up in here, we could run into a little bit of extra resistance. But just keep in mind, if we hold this area up in here as support, we could see one of these big uh, fear spikes come into play. So watch that close um, as, uh, you know, this this plays out who knows um maybe they'll come to agreement maybe they get a deal maybe they don't i don't know what all that means i just know that it's going to be um kind of rough roads ahead and uh, and i would say if you're a new trader if you're um, inexperienced as a trader it might be a really good idea to just stand aside and um, and watch from the sidelines, learn from it, maybe paper trade, but to avoid um, risking a lot of money during this kind of market. Let's take a look at um, T21. 22. That four-week new high, new low ratio, really remarkable yesterday how that four-week new high, new low ratio really made very little move here, you know, after gapping down nearly 500 points and then rallying all the way back up. Uh, pretty substantial price move, but T2122 stayed up here in these upper ranges. Now, what this means is um, that we still have plenty of upside potential um, in this uh, chart, and you can also see that we have plenty of downside potential as well. So keep that in mind as we're gapping down this morning. Um, we've we've got plenty, plenty of room uh, to potentially move to the downside according to T2122. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today and we have luckily we have a relatively light economic calendar at 10 o'clock we have the jots report we do have a fed had a fed speaker this morning uh, but other than that not much going on here on the economic calendar so luckily we don't have any big events coming into play, um, adding extra tension or pressure to the market as they try to move through. We had uh, just short of 400 companies reporting earnings today. Those companies are rolling in pretty fast and furious. Keep an eye on those earnings reports. Make sure that when you're trading, you are paying attention, close attention, to those stocks that are reporting because you don't want to get caught um, un you know, just being surprised by an earnings report and not being prepared for it. So kind of keep that in mind. Watch those reports carefully and remember to protect um, your capital around um, those earnings reports. And the re rest of the week, just huge numbers. We have over 400 companies reporting Wednesday, over 500 companies reporting on Thursday. So lots of um, reports coming in and you know that can create tremendous volatility on its own let alone uh, the beginning of um, trade negotiations again on Wednesday and what the outcome of that could be so crazy times for the market for sure and for certain so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a great day i want to wish you great profits and if this is the first time you've seen these videos please do me a favor click that subscribe button on youtube the follow me button on facebook click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment you guys have just been awesome i truly truly appreciate all your support um all of the kind words and comments and just know that every time you click that thumbs up button and you leave a comment, it helps those algorithms show these videos to more people. So if you believe this is um, um, helpful information to you, um, then please um, uh, take the time to do that. It makes a big difference. And also, please feel free to share this video on any of your social media feeds. Um, you're more than welcome to do that. 
So let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. There's there's some really good looking charts out there. It's going to be really, really difficult to trade them, though, um, in light of this volatility. Let's take a quick look at some uh, a few stocks that I've been watching pretty closely. SNPS. Take a look at this beautiful trend. This trend has just been incredible holding up nicely here and a nice bullish candle here reacting directly to trend and price support we have this beautiful move up here um, any follow through to this on to the upside may be a great potential trade on the short side you may want to take a look at stocks like um, AT&T AT&T putting in that bit of a failure pattern right in here rallying back and showing failure I'm actually short um, T and a lot of a lot of folks in RWO are short T and you can see that opportunity for this to maybe slip on lower so we'll have to watch that close but hey anything anything is possible so there's some long trades there's some short trades um and, and it's hard to know what to do right now in this market with so much uh craziness now lmt i made mention of lmt yesterday as a possible trade idea and i said that, you know the the tensions between us and and iran that are building um could definitely um help this stock well that seemed to play out yesterday um and a nice bullish candle as we're popping through on lmt really nice chart um, really good price pattern uh, to potentially trade. Take a look at Lulu. Lulu holding in there really, really strongly. Um, yesterday, um, after that big gap down, just hanging in there beautifully and um, showing signs that this doesn't want to go down yet. So you might want to keep an eye on Lulu. I'm going to caution everyone to be careful not to over trade right now. It's really, really easy to kind of get caught up and want to uh, want to jump into a whole bunch of trades when we see so many bullish signals in the charts. But yet again, just don't forget about the volatility of this market. And if you do decide to trade, make sure you trade smaller than normal positions based on that volatility, because we could really see those big overnight swings occur. And just a thought in protecting your capital, I always hate to see uh, folks losing their money to the market um, and I plan to do very little trading right now I don't feel like I have much of an edge in the market and I've had a great year so far so what I want to do is I just want to be really really careful protect that capital and um, do a little bit more standing on the sideline and watching this drama play out rather than risking uh, my gains back to the market um, when um, it's become much more gambling uh, than it is trading um, at the moment. So consider that as you're planning your trades. A couple places that you might want to look is some of these defensive sectors. PepsiCo really looking good here. Uh, held up extremely well yesterday. PepsiCo may be one of those charts where you could make some significant moves um, as we uh, move up in here. So watch that closely um, in the chart. Uh, Microsoft held up really, really well yesterday, hanging in there nicely um, yesterday. May have a little bit more, you know, um, bouncing around in here to do, but Microsoft looking pretty darn good and might be worth keeping an eye on, uh, putting it on your list. Remember all the stocks I mentioned in here are not a recommendation to buy or sell. They are simply um, charts that could be setting up good price patterns and things that you want to put on your watch list to, wa to um, watch them carefully and closely for potential trades. Take a look at Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble had a really nice day yesterday holding up, holding this price support in here. Again, kind of that consumer defensive sector um, holding in there pretty strong. So you might want to look to that consumer defensive um, area if um, if we're going to um, see any turmoil in the market, then we could 
um, see some of these defensives hold up a little bit better than others. Right now, as I close this video down, guys, we're down 172 points in the Dow futures. A um, little bit of volatility that we're going to deal with this morning. Expect a lot of fast price action. Be really, really careful. Don't chase in. Um, protect that capital. With that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all of the best. I want to wish you a great day. And if you're struggling as a trader, if if you're new as a trader guys it might be a really good idea to just put your hands in your pockets and avoid jumping into um, into this uh, craziness that's going on in the market right now it's gonna be a little bit wild and probably wild the entire week so be really really careful about how you approach that I just don't want to see folks losing all of those great gains that we made uh, during the first quarter of this year losing them back to the market. Um, just be really, really careful about how you decide uh, to approach trades um, for the rest of this week. Everyone take care of yourselves. Have an awesome, awesome day. And we'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good day.